Hi, this is Jill from Fabric Garden in Sacramento, California, here for our Thursday Facebook Live. This is where we like to show you what new is coming into the store, what events might be coming up, blocks of the month, things like that. So I like to get right straight to the point. So let us start with our newest line. This is called By the Sea. This is line is as you can see is all blues and it is sea inspired i guess these are sea urchins i was going to say sand dollars but those are urchins um, some that represent waves and drops of water and i think these might be waves also so just a beautiful uh, line of blues and this line does come with two free patterns one for a large quilt which is a storm at sea quilt and another for a table runner which is a curvy log cabin table runner so i will put links to those uh, those links will be up by tomorrow for links to the pattern um, if you link right when you get your email tomorrow from me, the, those patterns will be right in the email. So that is by the sea, and that is from P&B Fabrics. We also got in a new little line of fabrics called Noah's Ark, and it has the sweetest panel. So the panel, the the drawings on this are beautiful. The colors are perfect for the more contemporary sewing rooms, I mean, baby room, sewing rooms. You know where my mind is, sewing room. Who needs a baby room at my age? <laughs> well, maybe when I have a grandchild. Um, but this could be boy or girl. It's sweet, it's soft. And the pattern we used here is called Go Bananas. This is a cut loose press pattern. And it is really a very simple pattern. It frames the panel and all the little peaks are made with half square triangles. So very quick to make. Uh, this is something you could quilt yourself with just some outlining of the animals. So this would be a fast, fun to make baby quilt. So that is Noah's Ark. And that is from, I think it's from Dear Stella. But we'll see, I could be wrong. I'm just getting back in the swing of this after my move. Okay, then we have a fun little doll panel from Riley Blake. And this is called Boris the Cow. <laughs> so we did not order this line of fabric. Um, it was a more kind of country farm themed line of fabric. And that's not really our cup of tea here. But we do love the soft dolls. And so we thought Boris the Cow is very cute. It's a one yard panel and it will make Boris, and it will make some sweet little stuffies that he can also play with. There's a little dog, a sheep, dog bones, a tractor, and Boris has, oh, there's also vegetables, so you can make little, little vegetables, and Boris also gets a hat that can be put on and taken off. So he does have a removable piece of clothing. So that is Boris the cow. And Melly is making our sample, so it shouldn't be too long before we have a sample here in the store. Also brand new in the store, um, it was interesting when I was posting this up online, it said that its published date was September 23rd of this year. Well, apparently not. <laughs> So it is here. Um, it's here earlier than they anticipated. 
So this is called Mix and Match Sampler Settings. So many times we are making 12 sampler box. We're doing uh, Saturday samplers with a variety of shops, making 12 blocks. Um, and this book has, it does have 12 block patterns, but you could use just your own patterns. But then it has different settings for your 12 blocks. And we're always looking for different ways to set our blocks. I like that one. Nice and simple. Um, that's a nice one. There's one in here that looks really complicated, but it's not. I think this is another great one. And but you can see there's a, a wide variety of settings for your quilts in here. So it's not just your standard I mean, look at this one. It's just so unique and different, but really very beautiful. Um, and there's even some that are pretty, like, have the illusion of curves. So just a uh, warning, there's a little paper piecing to get that look. But it is, so this is a great book. There's 48 pages. And here's the, the kicker. It's $10. <laughs> So there you go. Um, treat yourself. This would be something that you will use over and over again with different blocks. So those are the brand new items that are in the shop. I wanted to talk a little bit about two of our upcoming blocks of the month. One is Vintage Rose and um, the first kit has released. We do have a few more spots left. So if you've been thinking about this one, now's the time to sign up. This is block number one. In this program, month one is just one block. But as you go on, there are months where you will make four blocks or six blocks of the same block. So, um, but month one gives a nice, easy, fast start. Um, in the email from the shop you will receive, we have included our month one demonstration video for you to give a little, get a little idea how we release videos to help you get your blocks made each month. So that is Vintage Rose Block of the Month. And then we've talked about this before. Um, oh, I guess I don't have don't have my row, but it's with me. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze right out. Back. I'll be right back. Anyways, uh, this is a row quilt. It's called uh, Prairie Picnic, and this is row one. And so it is a sampler quilt done in rows. So we will be making sawtooth stars and nine patches and flying geese, square and a square, we'll be making a lot of the basic quilt units. This line of fabric is from Fancy That Design Studios. And I just think the, the drawings are, like I love how the floral is not your traditional floral. I love this kind of waving wheat pattern. The stripe that is a sunrise, the uh, print that looks like cross stitch. I love this little kind of ditzy blender that comes with it and these really sweet little small flowers. Um, fancy that design. Uh, she came up with this design. She was on vacation with her family and she was more in a prairie location. And at first it seemed rather kind of dull and bland to her, but then she started to see the beauty of the prairie. And that's how she designed this line. I like that I'm getting to work with some colors that are a little bit outside of my color zone. 
because I think that it's fun to not always work with the exact same colors every time you make a quilt. So this one has got charcoals and browns, greens, reds, rusts, uh, light blues and pinks. So it's got a wide variety of colors and it is going to be lovely. So the fabrics have arrived and the kit cutters have been cutting. So we got a lot of kit ones cut this week. We are going to release the kits next week. So if you've been thinking about this one and you want to join us, now is the time to sign up because we just have four spots left now. So hop on, join us and have some fun with us. Uh, before I end, I also wanted to mention that Saturday, is that the 16th? Saturday, September 16th is National Sew a Jelly Roll Day. So we are working on getting a nice little event put together for you with jelly roll books, jelly roll patterns. We're going to set up some classroom time where you can come sew a jelly roll race here in the store and we will have some contests and prizes. So we will get that put together before the end of the week and by Monday, we will get that out to you in Monday's email on how you can participate in National Sew a Jelly Roll Day. And to mark your calendars for the first Saturday, first weekend, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday? I have to look at my calendar. This is, I'm a little disjointed still. Um, is our holiday hop. So we participate with three other shops. So there's just four shops you have to visit. And at each shop, you will pick up a pattern for a block. We each have a season. So last year, our season was Christmas. This year, we're spring. A shop will also have fall or Halloween and also Valentine's. So, oh, patriotic. Patriotic, Christmas, fall or Halloween, spring, which could be Valentine's or spring. So that is the first weekend in November. It's really fun and you only have to go four places. We're really not that far apart from each other. So I think the farthest shop is in Lincoln. So that's not too far. The other shops are a little closer to us. So think about joining us for the holiday hop and picking up some fun block patterns. And we will also have kits available for our version of the small quilt we'll be making. So thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you here in the shop or on our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.